The 2003 Pirates of the Caribbean Curse of the Black Pearl is one of my all-time favorite films, and I am building all three naval ships from that, the Dauntless, the Interceptor, and the Black Pearl. If you guys have not seen my Black Pearl mock, I took that one to Brick World Chicago 2022, and I'm intending to bring all three of these mocks and the Battle of Endor to Brick World Chicago 2023 this year. If you guys have not seen the Dauntless, go check that out. These videos are going to be kind of interrelated. There's going to be a lot of intermingling between these two, but this is the Interceptor. This is really Really its first standalone episode so make sure you guys check out some of the other Dauntless and Interceptor uploads but let's get right into the progress. I have been very busy at work with the Interceptor. I have built the entire main mast piece for it. It is pretty significantly tall. This is going to have two sails here and this back sail that we see in the film. I tried to make it as accurate as possible. It took me a long time to kind of design this around that. This will have one more mast piece here as well. This will just be a two mast piece, though it will look like there will be three main areas of the sails. And each of these are equipped with a brand new design that I've come up with for the Starborn anchor. So when that is fully kind of lowered in that, you can just twist this thing up like the crew members would do in the film. And the anchor is now back up there. That's a great design that I have. I'm going to be building the mast piece around that as well. And then building another mast piece sticking out that way. So definitely a very complicated design. But I'm really happy with the amount of progress I've made in this episode. It's definitely been a lot of work. I also worked on some of the exterior of the hall. I added in this kind of, uh, kind of slump piece right here to kind of blend this a little bit. I also changed up the top of the deck up here. I moved the steering wheel back a little bit because I thought it was a little bit too encroaching on the actual mast piece. I actually lowered this by a few studs and changed up some of the design work in the back section. And there's a look of what the Interceptor will look like once it's there. It looks a little bit weird with just one mast piece right now. So my goal is right now to get the Interceptor's mast finished up in this episode. Uh, definitely pretty ambitious, but I feel really confident because I got this entire thing done. So now I feel like this is going to be a breeze uh, for this other mast piece. So I'm going to get to work on that and check back in with you guys once I finish that front mast. And here's a look at the completed mass of the Interceptor. I'm really loving how all of these look. I went with the two mass design because I felt like any more would encroach on the ship. It is much smaller. It only has three cannons compared to a ship like the Dauntless, which has six cannons on one side and a huge uh, lower section in the rear of the ship. And that is what I was going with for the Interceptor. It's a ship built for speed, built for transporting things very quickly. And I wanted to emulate that in the design. It's very light looking. It doesn't look like it weighs that much uh, compared to the Dauntless in real life and of course in Lego. I actually used a very similar design to the one used in the Black Pearl set, which is basically sideways snot building to have this front mast piece uh, in the front section of the ship. I really love how I was able to do that. I can simply easily remove that section like that using a Technic rod system like that. And I can easily just reattach that right like that. Fits in nice and simply. I still have to put in some of the Technic rods in the actual pillar designs. Uh, that one does have that. And plus these lattice pieces really help stabilize that. Um, but once I get that kind of finished up, it will look great. And speaking of the top section, guys, the Interceptor is a trade ship. So I believe it has a white flag on top of it. And then the kind of British uh, Empire symbol of Great Britain flag, if you want to say, on the back side of the ship. That's something I'm going to have to do. I'm actually going to be making custom sails for this out of some kind of material. Because I'm not ready for that stage of making sails yet. Because I want to get some opinions about what fabrics I should use on that. I'm going to wait till I'm home when I have better access to that and uh, resources for that. Um, so right now the Interceptor's masks are probably going to stay the way they are. Minus getting in some of those Technic rod pieces and finishing up that top section. And one thing I'm really proud of is that this ship is actually going to look really really similar to how it does in the film because in the black pearl one of my favorite scenes is when jack and will turn have an argument on the back section of the interceptor this sail is able to rotate all around like it does in the film of course it not is not exactly screen accurate uh, but with this ball joint piece that i accidentally removed there i think people are going to be able to really easily tell what that is supposed to be representing in universe there's really no way to do that in lego i don't feel like making custom strings for this entire set i really don't want it to be like 100% accurate to how a real ship would function because it's Lego. I'm not that 
uh, knowledgeable on ships. I don't pretend to be an expert on them, but uh, this is my <laughs> approach to trying to do something as similar to the movie as I possibly could and realistically if possible as well. I also decided to move the anchor to this side. I thought it just looked a little bit weird in the mast piece. I only have this piece in uh, brown. And that's one thing I've started to notice about this mock series that a lot of the people have been commenting about uh, the kind of color schemes of this. Unfortunately, Lego doesn't make many of these colors in this earth blue tone. Uh, they don't make the hull pieces in yellow or blue, so it's really hard to recreate that. And also, keep in mind that very limited parts are made in that dark blue color especially. It makes it super difficult to try to build anything uh, with as similar colors as possible. So I'm trying to find the fine balance of mixing the brown, the yellow, the blue, and the black in this case, as well as this uh, white railing pieces, just to make it look more round, more natural. I really don't want it to like just, uh, jut out and view uh, from the viewpoints very much. I want it to be a kind of fluent build that looks natural uh, with the resources and the molds that Lego has. And that's one thing I've learned that building custom ships in Lego is very, very difficult. There's a reason why there's really no Pirates of the Caribbean mock series on YouTube, minus a few. There's a few amazing ones, um, but there's just simply not that many parts. And oftentimes ships, tend to just be brown and black. Those are really the only colors we see custom ships get made. So trying to build a naval ship with Lego mold pieces with the stuff I have access to has been a very big challenge, but one that's been really fun and exciting for me to tackle. But with that said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this upload for the Interceptor. Make sure you guys stay tuned for the Dauntless upload coming out later this week and future Interceptor videos as well as some more Black Pearl content coming soon. But again, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video on the Pirates of the Caribbean mock series. Make sure you guys stay subscribed for more content coming very soon. And as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.